Welcome to part three in my Be Concise series. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you 20 verbs you can use to be concise. That means what you say or what you write is short and clear. You don't always need to use a lot of unnecessary words. You can watch part one and part two if you haven't already. I'll leave the links to these videos down below for you. And if you haven't watched these videos yet, don't worry, you can still watch today's lesson. The most important thing is that you learn something new today. The verbs in today's lesson you can comfortably use when you're speaking and in your writing perfectly fine. 20 verbs, that's a lot to do in one lesson. Here's what's gonna happen. After every four verbs, I have a mini gap fill for you to complete. This will help you review and practice the verbs. At the end of this lesson, can you please leave me your score in the comments below? How many correct did you get out of 20? 20 correct out of 20? Maybe 16 correct out of 20? Let me know. And at the very end of this lesson, I have 20 discussion questions you can use to once again practice what you learned. My name is Arnell. Let's begin with number one. Number one, a cold shower in the morning always gives me energy and makes me feel healthier and stronger. Well, this sentence is perfectly correct, but let's make it more concise and use some advanced vocabulary. A cold shower always invigorates me. Invigorate. Invigorate. And in this lesson, you can see the word stress above the verbs. So we say invigorate. Invigorate. We don't say invigorate. When something invigorates you, it gives you energy. It makes you feel healthier, stronger. And we're thinking about activities. What can invigorate you? A cold shower, going for a walk, dancing, watching a comedy. Why do you enjoy rock climbing so much? Well, after a long day at work, I need something that invigorates me. Number two, my husband lost his job two months ago. He's been unhappy and doesn't want to do anything. He's been moping. Mope. Mope. When a person mopes, they're unhappy. They have no motivation to do anything. Usually they just stay at home. After John received a low grade on his exam, he spent the weekend moping in his bedroom. You can mope all you want. You still need to help me with the housework. Jessica has been accepted into three universities. She can't decide which university to choose. She's been seriously thinking about which university to choose for a long time. She's been contemplating. Contemplate. Contemplate. When a person contemplates, they need to make a decision. They seriously think about it for a long time. During the COVID pandemic, John contemplated closing his business. You can see contemplate plus gerund, verb ing. I use the gerund form a lot in these lessons. If you want more information on gerunds, I have two videos on my channel. I'll link them down below for you. I suggest watching this one first and this one second. Contemplate plus gerund is really common but not always. How long have you been contemplating a career change? I need to finish my work. 
but I've been doing other unimportant things because I don't feel like working. I've been procrastinating. Procrastinate. Procrastinate. When we procrastinate, we should be doing something, but we do other things to distract ourselves because we don't want to do this one thing. Stop procrastinating and study for your exam. Okay, four verbs done. Are you ready for the first gap fill? Use the verbs in the box to complete the spaces. You don't need to change the verbs. They are already in their correct forms. Pause the video to do this. Now listen and check. Hey, you seem a bit down lately. What's going on? I can't figure out what to do with one of my employees. I've been contemplating firing him, but I can't just fire someone for being rude. I'm not sure what to do. It's all I can think about lately. That's a tough decision. I know what can help. How about you come zip lining with me next Saturday? That'll help clear your head. Zip lining? I haven't gone zip lining since I was a kid. It'll help you forget about that employee of yours and invigorate you. I doubt you'll be thinking about him when you're flying 300 feet above the ground. You're right. I just don't really feel like it. Maybe next time. Come on, you can't mope the whole weekend. I'll pick you up on Saturday, 10 o'clock. Sorry, I need to make a decision about the person before Monday. Anything else I do would just make me feel like I'm procrastinating. Five. Do I need to put this chocolate syrup in the refrigerator or can I just put it in the cupboard? Do I need to refrigerate the chocolate syrup? Refrigerate. Refrigerate. When we refrigerate something, we put or keep something in the refrigerator. Often we just say fridge for short. So you can refrigerate something in a fridge or you can, let's do number six now. Let's cheat a little bit. You can freeze something in a freezer. Freeze, freeze. You can refrigerate the pizza or freeze it. Fruit doesn't need to be refrigerated, but I like to keep my apples cold. Look at my basement. It's full of junk. I've collected a lot of stuff little by little over the years. I've accumulated a lot of stuff. Accumulate, accumulate. We can accumulate wealth, money, knowledge, things, stuff. This means we collect things little by little over time. Through wise investments, Ashley accumulated significant wealth. Imagine becoming wealthy over 20 years. Yep. Dust and spider webs have accumulated on a lot of my old books. Number eight, my secretary didn't notice the mistakes in her email. She spelled the te. She got the date wrong. My secretary overlooked the mistakes. Overlook, overlook. When we overlook something, we don't notice it. Maybe this is because we're not paying attention by accident, or maybe we're just being lazy. And we can overlook things like mistakes, a person's skill or talent, we don't notice it. Maybe a detective can overlook evidence. It's important not to overlook the potential of a new employee just because they don't have any experience. It's easy to overlook mistakes on a long document. Let's do gap fill number two. Listen to this conversation between two business partners who run a catering company. 
A catering company is a company that provides food for weddings, parties, formal events, etc. Pause the video to do this. Now listen and check. We seem to have accumulated a large number of ingredients that we never use. Look at this. We have five bottles of vanilla extract, three boxes of oats, and over 20 cans of tomatoes. Who's been ordering this stuff? Sandy is in charge of our supplies. I think she accidentally ordered these things. How can you accidentally order 20 cans of tomatoes? This isn't something that's easy to overlook. I don't think Sandy checked our recent order at all. I'll speak to her later. I'm sure it's just an innocent mistake. Well, okay, but ask her why she ordered oats. We don't make anything with oats. How many guests will be at the wedding tomorrow? 85. We need to start on the mini cheesecakes. We need to refrigerate them overnight or they won't set. Hey, what should I do with these packs of ham? Oh, can you please freeze them? We don't need them until next week and it's better if we keep them in the freezer. Number nine. Someone damaged this car by spraying graffiti on it and breaking the windows. Someone vandalized this car. Vandalize. Vandalize. When a person vandalizes something, they destroy it by smashing the windows, spraying graffiti, um, throwing trash everywhere, breaking things. Our community came together to clean up the neighborhood after a group of individuals vandalized cars and storefronts. Who would vandalize a statue of a swan? I mean, who does that? I accidentally knocked over the vase and it broke into thousands of little pieces. It shattered. Shatter. Shatter. When glass, porcelain, ice, anything hard shatters, it breaks into hundreds, thousands of little pieces. Physical things can shatter, but also more abstract things like a person's dreams, their goals, confidence, lives. Those are all things that can shatter. The failure of Willow's first business shattered her dreams of becoming a successful entrepreneur. Sophie always gets really nervous before presentations. Before our last presentation, she started breathing very quickly and got dizzy. She started hyperventilating, hyperventilate, hyperventilate. When a person hyperventilates, they start breathing very quickly because they're nervous or they're scared or they're having a panic attack. Apparently, when a person hyperventilates, they need to breathe into a paper bag. 12. In an official statement, the judge told David that his actions were wrong. The judge reprimanded David. Reprimand. Reprimand. When someone is reprimanded, normally we see reprimand in the passive voice. They are officially told, formally told, that their actions were wrong. The chef was reprimanded for serving undercooked food, which resulted in several customer complaints. The principal at Holloway Elementary School was reprimanded for not taking immediate action when a case of bullying was reported by students and their parents. We can see the passive voice was reprimanded for something. Pause the video. Now listen and check. I heard that someone stole $500 from the school safe on Monday. I couldn't believe it. That money was going to be used for the fifth grade skiing trip, 
We've had to cancel the trip because of this. I know. My daughter came home from school crying about this. She was looking forward to the trip and even started hyperventilating, telling me about what had happened. That's not everything. The school's art room had also been vandalized that night, creating a huge mess. The damage is significant, and it's left some of the students quite shaken. I've worked at the school for over eight years, and nothing like this has happened before. This incident has shattered many students' sense of security. Everyone is guessing who might be responsible for this. I hope you find out who did this soon. Me too, and whoever did this will be severely reprimanded. I ate too much food in a short period of time. I binged, binge, binge. When a person binges, they eat or drink too much in a short period of time. If you're on a diet, don't skip meals. Oftentimes, when someone skips breakfast and lunch, they binge at dinner time. That's no good. When I'm sad, I binge on ice cream. So you can see, we can binge or binge on something. And I want to add another verb to number 13. This verb can be 13.5. Binge watch. Binge watch. Maybe you can guess the definition. When we binge watch, we watch a lot of movies or episodes in a series, one after the other. My husband and I binge watched Squid Game on Saturday. We watched all the episodes in one evening. I worked really hard all week. I decided to do something nice and special for myself. I went to a spa. I decided to pamper myself. Pamper. Pamper. When we pamper ourselves, we do something nice, something that makes us feel comfortable. For example, you go to a spa or you take a hot bath with bubbles and candles. Or maybe something expensive. Maybe you spend the night in a luxurious hotel. After I ran the Los Angeles Marathon, I pampered myself with a trip to Hawaii. My best friend's dog has a better life than me. She pampers her dog with homemade meals and dog massages. Yes, dog massages. You can see, we use pamper plus reflexive pronoun, pamper myself, pamper yourself, pamper himself. I do have a full lesson on reflexive pronouns, and I'll leave it down below for you. And we pamper someone with something. How do you like to pamper yourself? 15. You work too much. You need someone to help you clean your house. I know, but I, I can't give a good reason for paying someone to clean my house. I mean, I'm trying to save money and I can clean myself. I can't justify paying someone. Justify, justify. When we justify our actions, we explain why we do something. We explain our actions, usually because we feel like we need to, or maybe the other person doesn't agree with our actions. Tom was called into a meeting to justify his spending. Maybe the other business partners thought, he's spending too much, why is he spending so much? Tom needed to justify this. Why is he spending so much? Nothing justifies violence. Is there a good reason for violence? We can say nothing justifies violence. My passport is going to expire in two months. I need to update and extend the time my passport is valid. I need to renew my passport. 
Renew. Renew. We can renew a passport or any other legal document, renew a contract, renew a gym membership, things like that. We update the information and we extend the time. It's valid. I have a summer contract teaching English, which I know won't be renewed in October. It was just a temporary contract. I need to renew my driver's license before it expires next month. Pause the video, you know what to do. Now listen and check. I heard you've been working with that new client for a while now. Are you planning to renew your contract with them? I'm not sure to be honest. The money is good, but the client has been extremely demanding lately. The other day she snapped at me because I accidentally mispronounced her last name. I know she's under a lot of pressure, so I just deal with it. Everyone is under a lot of pressure. That doesn't justify being rude to someone. I know, but what can I do? You work too much. You should go to the seashore spa for a massage and a manicure. You could be pampered for the day and forget about everything. <sighs> Actually, I think I need to go to the gym. I've been so stressed lately that I've been binging on everything in my fridge. It can't be that bad. You're so skinny. I cooked a whole bag of pasta for dinner last night and ate everything. Oh. 17. Don't throw your trash on the ground. Throw it in a trash can. Don't litter. 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 When a person litters, they throw their trash on the ground, on the street, outside, not in a trash can. So litter is a verb. For example, this sign says, do not litter. Litter is also the noun for that trash on the street. A group of volunteers spent hours picking up litter. 18. I know you and Denise aren't talking right now, but don't post a comment about her on Facebook. That will make a bad situation worse. That will exacerbate the situation. Exacerbate. Exacerbate. When something exacerbates something, it makes what's already negative worse. Tyler's stressful job exacerbates his anxiety. He already has anxiety, but a stressful job makes it worse. Tough economic times are exacerbated by inflation. 19. There was information I didn't give to you. I knew you wanted this information, but I didn't give it to you. I withheld the information. Withhold. Withhold. You can see withhold is an irregular verb. Withhold, withheld, withheld. When we withhold something, we don't give it to someone even though we know they probably want it. What can we withhold? Information. Details. Money. We withheld payment until the work was done. Police withheld names and personal information when being interviewed by the reporters. Even though the reporters would have wanted the details, the police withheld that information. Number 20, last one. Annie wrote a book. It's important that everyone knows about this book through. Interviews, social media, advertising. It's important to publicize her book. Publicize, publicize. When we publicize something, we make this known to the public. We want as many people as possible to know about this. We're talking about products, mm, news, events. Musicians often use their websites and social media platforms to publicize their upcoming shows. 
the celebrity's recent divorce was highly publicized. Everyone knew about it. Are you ready for the last gap fill? Pause the video. Now listen and check. I love living in a beach town, but too many tourists have been leaving their trash everywhere. I know our town needs tourism, but it's just exacerbating our wildlife situation. You know our crab population has been declining for years, right? Yes, I know, but lots of people are trying to help the environment too. Have you heard of Clean Up Pup? Their work has been publicized quite a bit lately. I see their clips on my Instagram all the time. Clean Up Pup? No, never heard of them. Uh, are they a band? No, they're an environmental organization that cleans up litter. And it's special because it's for people with dogs. You can take your dog for a walk and pick up trash at the same time. Oh, that's a really neat idea. But you don't have a dog. How did you hear about them? I dog sit for a friend of mine all the time, and I heard about it through other dog walkers. You add the location of where you cleaned up to the Clean Up Pup app. Another app. I have enough apps. You don't need an app to help the environment. Will you stop being so negative? I know you're worried about your privacy, but on Clean Up Pup, you can choose what information to give them. You can even withhold your name. You just need a username. Yours can be Cranky Crab123. How did you do? Let me know your score in the comments below. I really love hearing from you. And don't forget to check out part one and part two in the series if you haven't already. Well, as promised, I have 20 discussion questions you can use to once again practice and review these verbs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.